Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be proving an inequality for positive numbers. For positive real numbers. A, B, C are positive reals and we are supposed to prove that A plus B times B plus C times C plus A divided by A, B, C is greater than or equal to 8. Notice that A, B, C cannot be 0 so we don't have a problem with the denominator and everything is positive here. Since A, B, C are all positive, their product, their sum, so on and so forth are all going to be positive quantities. I've done this inequality before and a while ago. I'm also going to share you the link. But uh, that was a while ago and also I only used one method apparently. Uh, in this video I'd like to introduce three methods. So let's go ahead and talk about the first method. For my first method I'm going to be, and for all methods pretty much, I'll be proving the alternative form. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by ABC. Since ABC is positive, uh, it's not going to change the inequality. And we're going to get the alternate form A plus B times B plus C times C plus A is greater than or equal to 8ABC. So that's what we're trying to prove. I'm not saying it's true. I'm going to show, demonstrate that it's true all the time for positive uh, real numbers. Okay, we know that ABC is positive. Let's go ahead and consider the following. We know that no square is negative, hopefully. Since no square is negative, I can safely say that, hey, square root of a minus square root of b squared is going to be always greater than or equal to 0. Now, where does this come from? You'll see in a little bit, they kind of come together nicely and form this expression that we're looking for. So, let's go ahead and expand the left-hand side. We get a minus 2 times the square root of a, b plus b is greater than or equal to 0. Now I want to go ahead and put the radical term on the right hand side and leave the a plus b here. a plus b greater or equal to 2 times the square root of ab. Uh oh, that is am gm inequality. Remember we talked about it, the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean for positive real numbers. Now I got this for a and b but I can also do it for b and c and c and a. Notice that a plus B appears here and the other ones appear next to it. So it makes sense if we put these together and multiply. So B plus C uh, by the same inequality is going to be greater or equal to 2 times the square root of BC. You know, you can just replace these with different uh, variables. C plus A is going to be greater or equal to 2 times the square root of CA or AC. However you want to write, it doesn't really matter. Let's just write CA. Now, we have three inequalities and they all have the same direction. Let's go ahead and multiply them. Everything is positive, so we're good on that. Now, on the left-hand side, we get A plus B times B plus C times C plus A. And on the right-hand side, which is very, very interesting, 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. And the square root of A times the square root of A is going to be A because A is positive, well-defined. And we're going to get 8 A, B, C on the right-hand side. And guess what? That is the inequality we were trying to prove. So... Case closed. All right, let's go ahead and look at the second method. Our second method involves the following. If you're trying to prove an inequality, like let's say something is greater or equal to zero, you can put everything on the same side and prove that this quantity is greater than or equal to, actually, I'm sorry, correction. If you're trying to prove in an inequality that something is greater than or equal to something else, then you can put everything on the same side and use zero on the right-hand side. So I'm going to try to prove that this difference is greater than or equal to zero. But let me not assume anything, and let's just go ahead and manipulate this algebraically. I'm going to go ahead and distribute. And when I distribute, let me go ahead and give you, without further ado, uh, we can, we're going to get terms like this. a squared b plus ac squared plus a squared c plus b squared c plus ab squared plus bc squared and then we're going to be getting the 2abc um, mi minus abc because we're going to get the abc plus abc minus 8abc that's just going to be minus 6abc okay now we're going to manipulate this in such a nice way that we're going to get something that uh, we can manipulate further so i would like to put together terms that have b in them. Not b squared, but just b to the first power in them. And those terms are the following. a squared b. The next one is going to be bc squared. 
but I don't have another term. Well, I can go with the ABC, but there's six ABC, the minus six ABC, and I'm gonna be doing it for B, A, and C, so I have to do it three times. So I wanna split up my negative six ABC into negative two ABC, minus two ABC, minus two ABC, all right? So I'm just gonna be using one of them. So I'm gonna put, put them together like this. And then I'll look for, and by the way, if you are manipulating a very long expression like this one, it makes sense, oops, I underlined the wrong term. Uh, it makes sense if you kind of underline or squiggle or whatever, uh, you know, you can just go ahead and uh, indicate somewhat or highlight whatever or cross out uh, to indicate that you already used that term. So you're not confused. Here, I only use part of it. So I'm just going to put a little mark there. And then I'm going to be looking for terms that has uh, that have A in them. So what about AC squared? A, B squared, and then of course, I'm, I'm gonna use my minus two ABC. So I used A, C squared, A, B squared, and another one here. So we have one more round, and that leaves us with everything else, A squared C plus B squared C, and then finally, minus two A, B, C. Pretty much, we used everything. Okay, great. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to group them. This is gonna be our first group. This is gonna be our second group, and this is going to be our third group. And guess what? In each of these expressions, we're going to take out what we were looking for. So B, and then we're going to get A squared plus C squared minus 2AC. I hope that makes sense by now. Here we have to take out an A, C squared plus B squared minus 2BC, 2B or not 2B. Here we're going to take out a C, and we're going to end up with A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. And if you said the expressions inside the parentheses are perfect squares, you're right about that. Now we get B times A minus C squared, plus a times c minus b squared, plus c times a minus b squared. Now remember, a, b, c are all positive, or greater than or equal, well, not greater than or equal to, a, b, c are positive, and we didn't necessarily say they are different, so a minus c can be zero, but this means this expression is greater than or equal to zero all the time. And that just proves that this expression is greater than or equal to zero, and it just proves the original claim that a plus b times b plus c times c plus a divided by a, b, c is greater than or equal to 8. And that brings us to the end of the second method. Now let's go ahead and talk about the third method. For the third method, I don't really want to go all the way through. I hope you don't mind, uh, but just want, to show, just want to show you the idea. It's really cool. Uh, we consider this expression now we're going to go ahead and distribute this, and when we do, we're going to get the following. a squared b plus abc plus a squared c plus ac squared plus ab squared plus b squared c plus abc plus bc squared all over 8. Now, there are eight terms here in the numerator, and I'm going to use amgm inequality. And if you use amgm inequality, you can easily show that this is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of all these numbers. Let's go ahead and multiply those together and you're going to be getting basically what you are looking for. And what are you going to get from here? You're going to get ABC, which proves the original claim. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.